Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants today. Very exciting. We are checking out a new series with The Outer Wilds. So first of all, a massive thank you to Andy for purchasing the game for me for my birthday. That was very much appreciated, Andy. So this isn't actually a VR game by default, but there is a mod which I had heard previously. Enabled full VR support for the game, including motion controllers and everything. So here we are. I don't know anything about the game at all, apart from the fact that it's supposed to be good and it had bolted on VR support. Uh, if you're interested, by the way, I will we'll put a link in the description to the VR mod or where you can go for the VR mod manager or the mod manager to get the mod, blah, blah, blah. Um, yes. If we can roast the marshmallow? It even ch changes the... Uh Oh, the trigger to extend the stick. Oh, I see. Yeah, even changes the um, button prompts. That's amazing. Hom nom nom. Oh, you even need it by putting it up. That's so good. Doesn't look like there's anything over there we can play. Oh, I have some sort of gun. Right hand grip and right hand B button to zoom in. No. Oh, I see. It's a audio monitor. Okay, wasn't expecting that. And what's this? Literally no idea. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, then. So let's go talk to this guy, I guess. The Slate. Hello, Slate. There's our pilot, back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. It's literally just over there, but yeah, even like the little look prompt. Oh my word, this is very well done, immediately. Yes. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. That's me. What do you say, ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready. Ready to go. Uh... What's ready to go? Let's say you sure you fixed the retro rockets? There was only a problem one time and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Damn right, Slate, let's do this. Uh, you'll need the launch coach from Hornsfels at the observatory before you can lift off. Bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. I'm loving this little music, by the way. That's beautiful. Well, that requires the launch codes. Okay, so where do we go to the observatory? We go up here. Oh, I can jump. Hey, just jump. And you jump on release, kind of confusingly, rather than uh, on pressing it. So it feels like there's a bit of lag there, but I suppose you'll get used to that. I know we're heading up there, but why wouldn't you go exploring first, right? Hello. Am I like you? Oh, I am like you. Hey, oh, Hatchlin. I hear you're leaving us to seek new adventures amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gusson open up a bottle of the good stuff. Yes. <laughs> the good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. <laughs> and we are Hearthians. Thank you for that. Our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Well, there is something in there. I thought you were just staring in an empty pot for a while. Oh, hello, door. So I might need to consider... Ah, hold on. Hold on. Okay, I just had to swap over what I was recording, because the uh, when you start it in the VR mod, it opens up in a very small window on the screen. So I full-screened it, and I noticed because it restored itself back to its original window size, which is obviously no good. So you may have missed me talking to that guy, but it's nothing, nothing major. He just talked about uh, some alcohol, basically. Are you actually blasting off in that thing, eh? They really don't explode as often anymore. Yes. Uh, between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground here more often than they used to. Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. The projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Right hand grip. Oh, I see. 
left hand A button. Confusingly. Is that us? That's not us, is it? A lot of volcanoes on this planet. Not sure I like that. Ooh, hello. Moons and stuff. Is this us? Yeah, there's the observatory, look. It is us. Ha 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 ha. That's cool. Uh... This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Felsbar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into Spain. <laughs> what happened to the rest of it? <laughs> Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight. Already the writing in this game is, uh, is very nice. It's quite perfectly done so far. Talk to that dude. Woodchop guy, why am I so small to compare to everyone? So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. I build a new, less flammable one, yes. The launch pad is flammable. Uh, you, we all know you have it out for that tree. <laughs> you think it's actually the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? And again, I'm assuming we can't open the doors. Oops, I opened up my uh, sound spy. Hello. Hello there. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments. You made all their instruments. Always pull out your signal scope and track them. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Looks like we can get out of the observatory that way. I don't think there's anything down there for us to... Uh... What is in here? What is the point of these things? Oh, okay. The <laughs> geysers. Thank you. Wonderfully timed game. Hello, hatchlings. Uh, Marine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Uh, oh. Sure, why not? Let's play. You'll hide with these radios and then use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. So this is like a little tutorial for the signal scope. I see you. I don't know. How do I go this way? Do I jump over there? That seems very dangerous, but... Okie dokie, oh, I made it. It was alright. Oh. Keep changing the frequency because it's the rotate button. Well, she's over there somewhere. Oh, I can't quite jump up there. Um, I need to go over that house. Oh, I see. Did I not start up there as well? So rather than jumping down, I should have jumped onto the roof, of course. Why wouldn't you have jumped onto the roof? Hello. Found you. You're welcome. You are more than welcome. Let's continue our little jaunt upwards towards the observatory then. Oh, close. So yeah, initial impressions of this game are just really nice. Obviously, the VR mod seems incredibly well implemented, bear in mind that it's a mod. 
But the game itself is just, it just has an immense charm about it so far, doesn't it? The world itself is relatively low detail. Like the ground is just a terrible texture, is a bit harsh, but it's just a very flat texture. The plants there are very flat and stuff, but yet the people are wonderfully modeled and sort of accurate's a weird word to use when you're looking at a four-eyed floppy-eared creature that hatches, but much more detailed. Yeah, it doesn't feel out of place. They don't feel like they're out of sync with the sort of lower detailed world around them. Fish and ram, fish and ram, singing helps me pass the time. I am leaving. Why would you go there? Uh, da, 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 da. And Gavro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. Go on. They landed the ship easily enough in the waves. We couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. They decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but they couldn't go any further. Tell me more. <laughs> Just pausing dramatically. The water was refusing to let Gavro go any deeper. It held him back. Almost as if it was protecting them from something. Is that all true? I bet I will. I bet I will go see it for myself. Don't you worry about that sunshine. Is the... Uh, oh, it is. So time passes as well. There's trees on that moon. And there's like three, four, five. There's so many other things immediately up there. I'm assuming we can go to them all as well. I like the automatic torch as well. It's always a nicely appreciated feature. So observatories over there, little dude over there, some just like observation platform here. Oh, almost walked off the edge. Oh, is that the rocket? There it is. It does look a little bit haphazard, doesn't it? Just a wee, wee bit. The observatory looks like I said a bit of a random angle as well. Or is that because of the planets are so small that it, already over there the flat has changed? Hello. This is good weather for your launch. Uh, any good sounds from space? Set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency. So listening to Traveller's music. You can hear different planets depending on day or night. They are very cool. Huh? There's a shooting star. That is so cool. And I don't know what the two frequency are. Oh, hide and seek out of wild ventures. Oh, I see. It tells you immediately what they are. <laughs> so you don't need to guess. Wonderful. So let's go check up here. What does this say? I saw smoke coming from young back crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just don't break it. you literally fire people from it? You do, don't you? Or you fire something from it. Uh, right hand and B. Oh, there it goes! And then right hand and B. B button to take a snapshot. Oh, so you can see what it's seeing. Oh, I s that's very, and it's landed. That's very cool. And then you can rotate the camera as well. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, what was it? Um, B. Over it goes, over those mountains. Oh, I accidentally brought it back. That's fine. We will uh, leave that incredibly interesting feature for now. Oh, what's going on over here, sunshine? Hello. 
A patch of ghost matter inside the fence. Gotten so it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling. Because the matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. Ghost matter is awesome. It's school, it'll burn the heck out of you. That's how they lost their foot. That is so cool. It is very cool. Is this another... Right hand grip and B button to take snapshot. It just says it twice. So we can see the ghost matter there. Guess that's what the crystals are showing, is it? Very quick look over here. Just another waterfall. Well, that goes very far down. I wonder what's down there. <laughs> and I wonder what that is. What have we got here? Come and say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got zero G training as a refresher. Yes, please. As I don't know what's going on. Like, you weren't nervous for your first flight. The narrative between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. You lost an eye, mate. You'll do fine. Worry more about that ship. Ha. Huh. There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. I will, uh, I will do that. Very shiny walls. Oh my word, how far are we going? These planets are tiny, so I'm, I'm in the middle of the planet then, is what they're saying, right? That's why it's the zero G. Oh, I thought it did it automatically. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Suit up, please. Oh, I like that. I like that. Uh, left hand trigger and right hand trigger. Oh, I'm pressing the grips. Are oh, the thrusts. Ooh. Is this? Nothing. Nothing. Hello, mate. What are you doing? Tough. Why aren't you wearing a suit? Give me the dirt. Guess where I'm going? <laughs> Can we think about space? I don't want to think about space. Space is scary. So would we just... Just jump straight down? So we've got thrusters, don't we? Is that something up there? What's a scout launcher? Like... In the midst of being built and or... I forgot what the thrust was for a second. What's this? It's like a mini scout launcher. It's a mini scout launcher! Does that mean that if I do it... Like there... It'll be able to see me? I don't know, I think I'm... I don't know where the camera is. Oh, it's up there, I think. Yeah, it's looking up. Yeah, there I am! <laughs> I'll have my scout back, thank you. Ooh. So I don't think we have like, a fuel gauge or anything. Uh, right hand B to lock on. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I see. I see. Proper, proper zero G. Are 
Yep, I'm uh, not very good at this, you could say. <laughs> stop there, stop there. Oh, a right hand A button, hold to match velocity. I'm gonna pick that up, that's not what I wanted to do. Velocity matched. Oh, no, it's, no, it's not. Okay. So that's gonna make it slightly easier just to. Uh... Yes, I see. So when you get close to it, as long as you don't accidentally pick something up. I can hold right stick and it will stick with it. It will not. Now it will. Now it will. I don't want that. Uh, how do I repair? Uh, right hand B button hold. There we go. Beautiful. Are there more? Oh, it is bloody massive, this thing, actually. I don't think I realised it was quite that big. That's very... Oh, yeah, one of three, it says right there, look. And then... Match velocity, and then repair. Okay, yeah. As always with these things, it's about being a little bit gentle, which I was definitely not being to start with. Where is this third repair needed? Oh, there, I reckon. I reckon that might be it. Job done. Now what I'm not entirely sure of is how we get out of here. That way? Did I come that way? I guess I must have done, right? Ha <laughs> ha That's cool. That's very cool. I didn't even realise I'd rolled in that sort of direction. This is the way back, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Do I need to give the suit back, or is that further up? Don't know. Let's head on up anyway. Maybe I'll keep the suit. It's my suit now. It's a very low... Bearing in mind that I'm quite a small person in this world, apparently. That's a very low-hanging light. Did it automatically take the suit off? It did. Let's talk to this guy again. Try not to hit anything big. Thanks. Go get the launch code from the observatory. Avoid getting yourself killed. Yep. That is... Ooh. Oh, no. I just did this. Thanks. Thanks. The observatory is... Oh, there's that beautiful music again. I'd forgotten all about it immediately. But just... Oh, it's lovely. It's really nice. I mean, that's just... Wanting us to look up there, isn't it? Because at some point, we're going to have to crank that. And maybe get another one for over there as well. What is that? Uh, Out of Wilds Ventures found in members. Clockwise from top left. Hornfells, Goss, and a slate and Feldspar. 
Big thanks to those additional founding members of Outer Worlds Ventures, without whom we wouldn't have got off the ground. Oops. So were those were uh, like like beta testers or testers played? I recognise one or two of the names. I thought. Uh, Timber has first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of the solar system. Felspar was the first Hearthian to be intentionally launched into space. They intentionally launched into space. Ha 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 Yeah, this is the thing I'm interested in. What's, uh, what's this? Remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nome, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. Provides us with a most detailed look at them, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Now the decorative jewellery that's been carved as part of the outlets. Found everywhere, we have no idea where they came from or what happened to them. Huh. Right, you. Your favourite astronaut, hello! Uh, it's the translated tools inaugural flight 2. You were to translate any Nomai text you want anywhere you are. Oh, awesome. Don't break it. <laughs> do not break it. Please do not break it. I'm excited, mate. I'm excited to see where this goes. What about from Giant's Deep? Ah, we're definitely going to go there. It is very neat. Fur is weird. I don't know weird to use smooth skins. First fully intact statue found. How old are they then? That would be my question. How old are they? You say it's an old statue. How old is it? Be more specific. What is this? Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to be to conscious observation. I realize it must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabra claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. <laughs> it's, oh. So when I look away, yeah, it... <laughs> cool, I like it. But now it's only in one place. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I like that. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of helium and starts to contract. So that's the life of a star. Yes, yes, yes. Neutron? Oh, it's a supernova, is it? Okay. This will one day be the fate of everyone's solar system, I'm afraid, my friend. What have we got going on here? I like all this just interesting stuff. What do they do? That was kind of cool. Demonstrating the moon's gravity. Some sort of deep sea fish. Is that from that same planet again? Uh, attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark bramble. Minimal atmosphere. So it's a space fish. They're a space fish. That's a thing. This crystal was taken from a Nome ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion. It's most likely, most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try oh. Oh, that's weird. That's weird and I kind of like it. Huh? <laughs> that's cool. That's very cool. Uh... Doo -doo -doo. Technology brought back from space by astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify ex expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. The little scout now boasts a warp retriever capability. Yes, we've seen that. <laughs> so let's just read that last bit again. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost at the depths of space. <laughs> That's a, a Nomai. Parts of the Nomai skeleton, we can tell from the skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. But he was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as the shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that the Herathians couldn't descend from Nomaian ancestors. Not clear where they originated from or where they went. I'm sure we will discover some sort of clue about them. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, they also made art. That's discovered on Brittle Hollow. This picks things not found in our solar system. Did they come from somewhere else? Did they just have fancy imaginations? This piece of writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Ah, oh, it's the Rosetta Stone. 
Although the text is linear, no my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. That's just, there seems to be an obscene amount of thought put into this game immediately, doesn't there? Trying not to get dizzy going up the stairs, or the ramp even. View the map. Oh, hello. <laughs> Warn me, game. Wow. Wow. Hello. So there's Giant Steep, Brittle Hollow, Dark Bramble. Which is a... Uh, oh no, they all have the, the one telephone. Maybe that was a, uh, a meteor or something. The Hourglass Twins. So it's just this solar system. We don't get to travel amongst the galaxy, which is probably a good thing. Brittle Hollow has a lot of satellites, doesn't it? Two major ones and a number of other smaller things going around it. Giant's Deep has a few things as well. Dark Bramble is just a mess. So what have we got? What does all this do? Can't press it. Probably for the best, if we're being honest. Let's get the launch codes from Hornfells. Hello. Just finished the pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get a newest astronaut. Hello. Off the ground. Our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomade translator. Yes, I heard about that. Very proud. What is the flash in? What's your plan once you're in space? Uh, I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. No one's ever landed on the interloper before. Perhaps you'll be the first. I will be the first. Should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either. For what you'll find are excellent reasons. I am ready to get off this ro I'm ready to die in space was the other option. I love that. <laughs> Best of luck. Excellent. Let's, uh... Let's head off. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, that dude's gone. Oh, hello. Eyes are going to open. Yep. Hello. Uh, that's everything I've seen so far. It's just taken my knowledge. You've just taken my knowledge from me. Anyone else see that? Anyone see the... Statue moved and just stole my memories. Nope. Okay. Okay. It's it's vaguely concerning, if I'm being honest. I wasn't expecting that. Hello! I did. It looked at me and opened its eyes. Yes! Mm, statue's definitely weird. It's definitely the statue. Hornfell's trying to get the eyes opened and has failed. Uh, Gabriel just said they're going back to Giants Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. I'll be able to find them. Don't you worry about that. But maybe just do it on your own. Yes, use the translator tool. I know. I know, I know, I know. Oop. Uh, nope, that's fine. Oh. It's made from... Well, the stone it's made from can store information. Yeah, it, it stole my memories. I'll see you later. See you later. I'm off. I'm off, mate. A wood lift? Something that everyone needs in their lives? This is uh, this is the right way, isn't it? Yeah, with the launch things just over there. Hello, Tepra. Yes, I am. Well, I say today, the days are only about three minutes long. <laughs> it's pretty disturbing. I'll be back, don't worry. Helmfer says they got lost in space even with the best pilot ever. I'm not as good as fast, so I should be careful. You're not wrong, my friend. You're not wrong. Can I just take your hat? Can I take your hat from you? No. That's a shame. I would have liked my last act in this place to be uh, thievery. Oh, look at that. Circled right back on us. That's lovely. Hey, Slate. I am. Working on the autopilot's avoidance systems for this one. Yeah. 
All this confidence you give me in your ability to not kill me, Slate. Thanks. I mean, it's made of wood. It's mainly wood. It's a terrifying looking ship. I don't think I like it at all. I don't think I like it. Whoop. Up we go. We have this thing, patched with wood. We have some sort of navigation computer. Looks like a little bit Nomai down there, doesn't it? Or is the ship's log? Uh, so far, yeah, not much. To be honest, it's been a very short journey as it currently stands. What's for this? This is for our suit up. First aid station, which I'm sure we won't need. Oxygen refill, spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. Just breathe in that tree oxygen. Um, how do I get in? Buckle up. Should I put my suit on first? Nah. Probe launcher, interact with screen to activate. Signal scope, interact with screen to activate. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. Uh, put away. Oh, cause I actually didn't. I accidentally actually activated it. Uh, right hand trigger, hold to lift up. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So they don't do anything. That's fine. What's the numbers there? I don't know. And we are we're just gone we're like that. We're off. And I'm pretty sure we're in space. Pretty sure we're in space. <laughs> Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's crazy. It's definitely getting closer. Am I still within its gravity well? That's crazy. I wasn't... I, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but... What's that? I don't know which is which. Those are the twins, right? What was the one he said that I should go in and investigate? Maybe I should have paid more attention to the map. Well, there's Banjo, dude. Something weird. That's the uh, the broken place. Oh, I kind of wish that was inverted. Oh, that's Whistling McGee. I might go find my Whistling McGee. Well, oh, nothing on there, though. Hello. I want to see if I can invert that, because that's very frustrating. Oh, am I a lot closer than I anticipated? I think I just went into it. I don't think that's something we can actually land on then. <laughs> so what's this one? Oh, mysterious. Let's do it. Let's go for mysterious. What's that? Uh, stop. Hello. Hello. Oh, this is the water planet. Oh my word. <laughs> I feel like I could have been slightly smoother with this. Oh my god. Let's see if we can land. Can we get rid of that? Thank you. Land on this little tiny rock here. Boom! Oh! No! Oh dear. Was not very smooth, apparently. Oh my! <laughs> Where am I? 
What sent me out of the planet? Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, it, it, it did. Oh my word. I just have no idea what's going on. What's my plan here? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wanna land on that rock. I don't need a landing camera. Everything's fine. Oh, I almost, almost. Oh, so close. <laughs> this is the worst way, I am sure, to do anything to... Oh, I can't even, uh... Yeah. I can't... Well, I can't still rotate the ship. Everything's fine. We're gonna get on there. The fact my landing gear damaged, should I be concerned about that? Possibly. Oh, we're down. Let's unbuckle. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, should I suit it up? Nah, I'm fine. Nope, I definitely should. <laughs> I like that I thought of that as I got out and died as well. Wow. What a start to my adventures in the outer wilds. Oh, is this a Namai thing going on? Oh, they're taking on my memories again. They're watching my incredible, incredible skills as a pilot. Oh, are the statues like respawn points? You go right back here again. Oh. Oh, interesting. Did I just die? So you just go right back here and your ship's back up there again, I'm going to guess. And I'm going to check my ship's still there. Uh, I already got the launch course from the observatory. Didn't they already lift off? I want to see whether the new cockpit stays attached during launch. Oh, that guy's a, he's a hack. This ship is still there, unsurprisingly, I suppose. And I'm guessing it's all fixed and lovely now. So I definitely need to be a little bit more gentle with my landings. Maybe not go to the giant water planet first. We'll try something a bit easier. But I'm going to leave that there for now then. My word, that game has just... It just immediately hooks you in, doesn't it? It is so... So beautiful, so interesting, so charming. I don't know what... I don't know what my plan is. I don't know what the story of the game is yet. Is it to do with the Namai? Is it to do with the people that have gone up there? Is it to do with that feldspar that got lost? It's just, it's just so well done. So well done. Again, a massive thank you to Andy for gifting it to me for my birthday. Hugely appreciate it, Andy. I think I'm going to enjoy this immeasurably. Hope you enjoyed this little first intro part. If you did, hit the like button. That would be so, so cool. Comment and subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget I'm streaming on Wednesdays at 7pm UK time, so I'll hopefully see you there to play a wee bit of Satisfactory. Hello? Otherwise, I will see you next time in the Outer Wilds, and as always, thank you very much for joining me.